First at five, it is day one of Grand Rapids Public Schools backpack ban. That policy put into place after a fourth weapon was found so far this school year. This situation sparking protests from students and visits from state officials. We will hear from Attorney General Dana Nessel in just a few moments. But first, we hear from students who are asking for more meaningful gun control, not these backpack bans. Our Julie Dunmire reports. In the middle of the school day here at City Middle High School, a walkout of more than 100 students all saying that the backpack ban is not going to do anything. Guns are the problem. <laughs> students at City Middle High School Thursday say they're fed up and the district's backpack ban is the final straw. Why aren't we doing truly our best instead of just banning backpacks? There's so many other ways that you can bring guns into school. These students saying gun control is the answer, not a backpack ban, and their signs make it clear they're tired of waiting for change. Students left during lunch. The protest organized on social media. Their voices heard loud and clear. School leaders say these students won't face disciplinary action for walking out. The district says they understand these kids' frustrations and wish they didn't have to take these measures either, but add there were limited options after two elementary school students brought guns to class just a week apart. We agree with the scholars about the speed at which this had to happen, uh, but we feel that safety is urgent. And when we've got a young person coming into a, a school with a loaded gun, with a bullet in the chamber, uh, our response to that is urgent. And that's what we we're communicating with the decision we made yesterday. So again, the district says that that backpack ban was not a decision that they made lightly. And that backpack ban is in effect for not just City Middle High School, but all Grand Rapids public schools for the remainder of the school year. The district saying that they are, of course, considering other less drastic options for the future, but that this made the most sense given recent incidences. Again, two elementary school students within the last span of a week bringing a gun to school. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.